North Korea launches missile towards seas in seventh of recent launch. North Korea fired two short-faced ballistic missiles towards its eastern waters on Sunday, the latest of a recent barrage of weapons test, a day after it warned the redeployment of the U.S. aircraft carrier near the Korean peninsula was inflaming regional tension. South Korea joint staff of staff said in a statement that it detected two missile launch Sunday between 1.48 a.m. and 1.58 a.m. from the northeastern coastal city of Muncheon. It added that South Korea military has boosted its civilian posters and maintained a readiness in close coordination with the United States. Japanese Vice Defense Minister Toshio Ino also confirmed the launch saying Pyongyang's testing activities are absolutely unacceptable as they threaten regional and international peace and security. Inno said the weapon could be submarine launch ballistic missile. We are continuing to analyze details of the missile, including a possibility that they might have been launched from the sea, Inno said. North Korea pursue of an ability to fire a missile from a submarine would constitute an alarming development for its rival because it's harder to detect such launch in advance. North Korea was believed to have last tested a missile launch from a submarine in May. The South Korean and Japanese military assess that the missile flew about 217 miles, reached maximum altitudes of 56 to 60 miles before falling into the water between the Korean peninsula and Japan. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida separately instructed officials to gather and analyze all information they could and expedite any updates about the test to the public. His office said it also was seek to ensure the safety of all aircraft and shipped waters around Japan while preparing for any contiges. South Korea presidential office said National Security Director Kim Sung Han call an emergency security meeting over the launch, where members review the South defense preparedness and discuss ways to strengthen cooperation with the United States and Japan to counter the growing North Korean threats. The launch, the North's second rounds of weapon test in two weeks, came hours after the United States and South Korea wrapped up two days of naval drills of the Korean Peninsula East Coast. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.